everyone, this is the JavaScript guy here with my lesson on uh, how to create random numbers in JavaScript. Alright, first what you need to know about uh, JavaScript and random numbers is that uh, the numbers aren't really random. They're called pseudo-random numbers uh, because you can't really generate a truly random number from mathematical processes. Um, so first of all, uh, let's, just, let's just show you the code here. Um, the basic uh, the basic code for getting a random number is that math dot random. Um, oh, and by the way, this this tutorial is going to assume that you already have a basic idea of you know how to work with JavaScript. So what you see there is um, the basis for uh, for getting a random number math dot random. But uh, now let's say um, there's a problem there's a problem with math dot random in a here it is. I have it alert. Um, at that random. And so uh, basically, and obviously, what that'll do is, um, uh, and as the page loads, you're going to uh, get an alert box with a random number in it. So let's see what happens. We refresh our page here. And we get some weird, ugly number like that. That's because what uh, math that random really gets you is a random number somewhere between zero and one, out to a lot of decimal places. So um, we're gonna have to use a little bit of math uh, to get this to work like we want it to. First, we're going to need to implement um, what's called the math dot seal function. Math dot Ceiling is what that really means, but it's shortened to math.seal. And math.seal, uh, anything you put in those parentheses there, that's going to round it up. So if you put in our math.random now, and I'll put that inside an alert. <clears throat> It gives you one. Okay, there's a random number. Let's try it again. One again, and again, and again, and again. That's because we're forgetting one very important thing, and that's that we're always going to get a number between zero and one, and so if we round it up, it's always going to be one. So what we're going to want to do is multiply your random number by whichever, uh, whatever kind of range you want. So I'm going to put in 10. And that means I'm going to get a random number between 1 and 10. And uh, the logic behind that is, um, if you, it's going to um, get, get your random number and multiply it by 10. You round it up. Um, and depending on, on what, the, what the decimal is, it's going to be somewhere either still below 1, a little over 1, a little over 2, a little over 3, etc, etc, and then it's going to round up to the next number and give you a, a nice whole even number like you want. So let's try it now. There's 1, 5, here we go, it's looking better. 1 again, 6, 10, etc. Now we're getting our random numbers. Alright, so, so uh, let's see now, implementations of this. Um, uh, well, let's first of all let's make this easier. Let's set something up uh, so it'll be easier to um, get our random number instead of just refreshing all the time. So I'm going to embed uh, the script in my head here. And we're going to make a function. All right, and we'll just have it have it do basically the same thing. And always remember to have the parentheses in there because uh, what it's really doing is it's calling another function. And if you don't have the parentheses in there, it's not going to know it's a function. You'll get an error. So there's that. And so we're going to set up a a link to uh, the function in here. Now, what this is, you may or may not know what this is. Um, when you set the, when you set your anchor 
uh, URL to JavaScript colon something, everything after the colon will be treated as JavaScript. So we'll call our function from here. There we go. And then when we click that, it will give us our random number. Reference that function up there. Now as far as maybe some more practical applications, when you'd want a random number, and remember, pseudo-random numbers, they'll work for pretty much any any time you'll you uh wanna wanna get something randomly. Um so let's say you wanted you had a database maybe or or a group of phrases that you wanted to uh display randomly. And so I'll create a function like that. What I'm setting up here is an uh array of phrases and um you may or may not know what that is. An array is basically a variable that can store multiple other values within it. That's just some Latin. We'll have our random equal our again math dot seal dot random. And uh, since we have three phrases, we're going to have to do um, times three. That's that. Yeah. All right. And now um, we'll alert phrases. All right. Let's see if that worked. First, we want to put a, a different link though. go there's one of the phrases there's another one run up some again undefined all right now undefined here the reason we're getting this is because of how the arrays are set up an array it actually um, well first of all the syntax for an array would be like this if you look down here um, that's how you reference um, parts of an array, let's say my array is an array you de declared earlier with um new array. Um and so each of these values go gets assigned to a number in brackets starting at zero and counting up. So carpe diem is zero, my array zero, or in this case it's phrase zero. Um lorem ipsum is one and the lore state I'm at is two. And so what we're doing here, we're taking our random variable and placing it inside um, inside the phrases array brackets which you can do you can do that um, instead of just putting the number in and allows you to dynamically reference an array so um, what it's giving us is uh, we actually have 0 1 and 2 0 1 2 but what we're getting the random numbers we're getting is 1 2 3 from this so we're just going to have to subtract 1 and that makes sense, right? Because you can get one, two, or three. If you get one, subtract one, you have zero. One, uh, two, subtract one, and one, and so on. And you'll be able to reference your array properly. And that you can use that not only for arrays, but anytime you want to get a number zero through something instead of one through something. So we'll save that. Um, refresh. Or in a phrase. There we go. We've got carpe diem. Zero. So that's basically um, how you work with random numbers. It's not it's not too difficult. You just sort of have to wrap your head around the math. Um, might be a little abstract, but um, that's uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment um, or message me. All right. Goodbye.